my god! Oh no! No, what? La raja, filete, bacan. These are just some Chilean slang words that all mean awesome. We're gonna find out today if Gary Meadow is filete. What's up, boys, and welcome to the Ultimate Scream Gary Metal, arguably one of the most, one of the craziest cards that we've seen. The fact that he goes for only 40,000 coins, which is a very, very low point of investment. Uh, the fact that he's got some really, really ridiculous stats, and the fact that he's Serie A, one of our favorite leagues uh, in FIFA 20, makes him, in my opinion, probably one of the more interesting cards that we have seen in the Ultimate Scream release. A lot of these guys are going for quite a, uh, quite a, the amount of coins. Uh, Thomas Muller's in, um, Ultimate Scream card, which I absolutely adore and love, has been tearing it, uh, tearing it up and did bits for us in the weekend league on the road to glory. Goes for over 240,000 coins. Tony Cruz goes for over 250,000 coins. Uh, if you want to get that Aguero among some of the other cards, most of these cards are over 100,000, but um, the, the, the players that are under 100k, like the Rum Agnoli, who looks really, really good, uh, and then this Gary Metal, who's got some stats that we're going to focus on for a couple of reasons. A lot of the comments you guys have been saying is, wait, you need to do a Gary Metal at Striker episode yeah, to see if he can get the job done. And there's one reason you guys have been asking for that. Now, if you guys don't know, he's got 80 shooting, right? So, like, that doesn't look like it's the craziest set of stats ever. Like, I mean, really, how 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 good could his 80 shooting be? Well, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. It's not the six stats and then divided by six. Some take more weight than others. And then finishing, I believe, is weighted very, very heavily, which is obviously why uh, it comes down all the way to, uh, comes all the way down to 80. But we're going to be looking at this Gary Metal Ultimate Scream card. One of the scariest, I would submit, one of the scariest Ultimate Scream cards given his price to performance ratio. And that's exactly what we're going to find out in today's epi. Uh, we're going to find out if this, if the stats on this card actually play or exceed the 40,000 coins that this card goes for. But like I always say, boys, if this epi helps you in some way, shape, or form, and I can already tell you right now that this guy is about as good of a value as you could possibly get. There's almost no weakness on his card outside outside of dribbling. The fact that maybe if he's in the box, the finishing will be a liability and the fact that he's not that fast. We've taken a note out of the Romanian Mad Lads playbook and that's crazy. He appears to be a, a, applying, he applies shadow chem styles to attacking players because it jacks off their acceleration and sprint speed. So um, uh, this Gary Metal card will have 83 acceleration and 81 sprint speed. And uh, there's no way you can achieve that with any of the other position mod, uh, with any of the other chem styles. But like I said, boys, if this helps you in some way, shape, or form, maybe add a key component to your Serie A squad or your full Chile side or something like that, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. But like I said, boys, we're going to try and find out if this Gary Metal card is La Raja, a.k.a incredible so we take a look at the shooting stats that's self-explanatory we just talked about the pace stats 83 agility is more than enough for a card of this stature again he's very very short he's like five well not very short but five seven on the short side so that 83 agility should feel pretty good the 98 balance coupled with the 83 strength that is an elite set of uh that's an elite um combo of stats right there reactions 85 very uh, very happy with that and then 75 ball control 67 dribbling is a little bit mess so we're gonna try and find out you know he's got agility he's got balance and reactions but does the 67 dribbling bring it down anything composure 85 which is funny because he's got 52 finishing and 85 composure so maybe the composure will help him take off those uh, will, will help him take those long shots i'm still looking dude that's all i can focus on right now 99 shot power 99 long shots and 98 attacking positioning that is absolutely unreal uh we're gonna go with this lauturo martinez and use him for the first time the fact that this card goes for 40 000, uh sorry 15 000 coins is absolutely insane um the only downside to this card, again, would be uh, probably composure, but we've jacked him off with the uh, with the Hunter Kemp style. And then we're going to take off Luis Muriel, who most likely, because he got himself a hat trick this weekend, this past weekend, I could see him getting himself an inform. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring on that Sebastian Giovinco. We're still getting familiar with the 4 one 2 one 2 Nero, a formation that we really loved last year. And we're going to see if this Gary Metal is the... <laughs> we're going to see if this Gary Metal shooting stats are as crazy as advertised. Match number one, Los Gates. Martinez. Come on, boys. His his defender went right into his keeper. Was that a hold on? Can I can Lautaro Martinez take the credit for that? I mean, hey, we gotta we gotta give Lautaro credit for breaking away from those defenders. He absolutely looked rapid there. But it didn't it looked like his defender was keeping his was preventing his keeper from getting over there. Here we go, Gary Metal. Freestyle. Oh my god. Oh no! No, 
what? Friends. What? Dude, his shots go... His shots go, like, high every time. Is that because of the finishing? That's probably the closest we've got to scoring a goal with Gary Metal. <laughs> He's an absolute pit bull, dude. He won up that, dude, that strength, the combination of the strength and the balance. I didn't even mean to do a low driven right there, man. The thing I'm most concerned about is the pitch notes. And one of the reasons I wanted to do an epi on uh, Gary Metal is he, he, he epitomizes what should be an incredible distance shooter in FIFA 20, right? Um, but we've taken about 12 long shots. We've taken 12 attempts. And none of them really have even come close to going through. So that leaves me a little bit nervous. It leaves me a little bit nervous for one reason. The pitch notes that came out last night uh, say that they're going to nerf distance, distance shooting, I believe, even further. Long shots might be dead. <sighs> okay. That's the sort of shot that you're looking for from a Gary Metal. If long shots are less OP than they are right now, the era of the long shot king, and again, you know, long shots weren't a crazy thing in FIFA 19. Certainly they, they were way more OP in FIFA 16 and such, but that's the, hey, that's the shot power right there, boys. Um, but uh, I don't know if it can handle them being any less effective. Because you guys know that that's one thing I love, dude. Like the whole cruise missile epi. Like I want to do an epi on uh, cruise missile. I want to do, you know, that's what inspired the this Gary Metal uh, episodia. Like, remember, dude, there was a time when I, you could convert a long shot from from here <laughs> with Bastian Schweinsteiger's base card. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Boys, don't sleep on Gary Metal, man. We didn't really show off 99 long shots, 99 shot power. And if I'm being honest with you, man, we took so many shots from outside the box and none of them, and maybe I was doing something wrong. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't putting enough power, but um, Gary Metal does get himself two goals. Lautur Martinez kicks things off with, with a very nice goal himself. Was it outside the box? Yeah, it was just outside the box. And I, I guess that's, I mean, I guess that's a display of 99 long shots, 99 shot power, but we took a bunch of shots from outside the box and none of them really even came close outside of this one. Okay, maybe I was... You know what? I think I was putting too much power on it. There we go. There we go. Sebastian Giovinco pick it up where he left off yesterday and the Atomic Ant showing what he's made of. Nice little bit of finesse's. Uh, nice little finesse goal from Sebastian Juvenko, and I, we could have gone up early in this game, I feel like. Uh, I feel like we're, we're better quality than our opponent. But, um, I really want to showcase that metal shooting, dude. And every shot just goes, it's like, every shot is sky. Okay, so, maybe we've proven, maybe we've proven that the... Maybe the, hit, the things about his shooting stats that are good, obviously 52 finishing, that wasn't a very convincing goal. Like, yeah, we sent it through, great first touch. It went a little bit too close to the keeper, and I think that's maybe indicative of the fact that he does have 52 shooting. Um, but maybe the fact that he has the 99 shot power negates a little bit of that 52 shooting. That's a little bit, of, that, that's, a, that's a finishing theory that we've had for a while. Like, if you have really good shot power, does that mean if you get inside the box, it's going to give you a better chance of conversion because you have that insane shot power? His shooting stats have popped up in a very unlikely way. It's not that we're converting distance shots. As a matter of fact, we've only scored one from outside the box with Gary Metal. But it's the fact that he's actually finished. More often than not, you get this Gary Metal inside the box, he's going to put away chances for you, which is very, very surprising. Obviously, he has defensive stats. No one in their right mind would play him at Cam or even at Striker. Um, but I think he makes a very good uh, lamb, ram, CDM option as well. But you, because you, you want to utilize those uh, those distant, you want to utilize uh, utilize those shooting stats. But um, so far, I'm actually very, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by this card. The dribbling and then also the agility are the two things that have stood out more than the distant shooting. What if we jack off his shooting stats? Snipe, let's go sniper. Metal right striker, Giovinco, Nangolen, Ram, Insigne, Lamb, and then Pellegrin, uh, Pellegrini, uh, CDM. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! The three shots that we've taken with uh, Gary Metal so far, 
have seemed more accurate since applying the sniper chem style. I don't know if that's just a placebo effect. Oh, Nangolan! Come on, boys. That's what he's got. Maybe that's maybe that's the kind of goal that we need to start scoring or or need to attempt scoring with Gary Metal. Come on, Med. That, my friends, was a move that, that's a skill move that I didn't even mean to do on purpose. Latour Martinez, that's what he's got, boys. He's doing the Argentinian Dapke, bro. What, what was even that skill move? I think I just, did I hold right on the analog stick before I even received the ball? That might have been like a first touch, that might have been a first touch skill move. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Lauturo, go on, you mad lad. Raja Nangolan shows off his uh, shooting stats, and I feel like the goals that we scored, the goal that we scored was Raja Nangolan. That's probably the goal that uh, Gary Metal's probably meant to be scoring uh, with his shooting stats. Lauturo Martinez beasts out, and I want to try one more match. I want to try one more match with Gary Metal that came with the sniper cam style. Okay, Sebastian Giovinco. It's not a goal with Gary Metal. It's not a distance banger, but it is a rainbow flick. He did the same thing yesterday, bro. Giovinco is the rainbow flick king. Here's the challenge I have for you guys. And th this is what I want today's episode to, to be about. I want you guys to link me on Twitter if you score distance bangers, and it has to be in division rivals or a competitive mode. Like if you get him in draft or whatnot. <laughs> Come on, bro. Are you kidding me? What are we doing? Um, I want you to link me a long shot with... Uh, with Gary Metal, because I'm convinced that long shots are dead now. Like I, I just I can't convert them outside of the box. We've only sh we've only converted in four games played. We've only converted one distance banger. I need you guys to hit me with videos on Twitter or evidence that this Gary Metal and most of you guys should be able to afford him forty thousand coins will be an interesting little challenge. The Gary Metal long shot challenge. I scored one. That counts from outside the box. I scored more inside the box than outside the box. Who would have thought with 52 finishing? But um, you guys need to hit me up on Twitter letting me know if you guys uh, show me some video evidence of you guys scoring absolute bangers uh, with Gary Metal. And then if, if, if I get good enough results or if there's good enough videos, uh, I'll include them in the next video. I'm going to give him a value of 4.5 out of 5. And then in terms of on-the-pitch performance, I'm not even going to grade him on his finishing stats, which were actually more impressive than his distance shooting, which I don't even know how that works. Uh, I don't even know how that works. But I am going to give him a 4 out of five and I know that the aim for this epi was to try and score distance bangers but just because we weren't able to get them shouldn't affect his overall card uh he has medium high work rates he's got really really good defensive stats he's got insane insane shooting stats if you're able to get him in position to score those um and then if you put the uh if you put the shadow chem style on him he goes up to 83 acceleration 81 sprint speed so not too bad at all so I'm going to give him four and a half out of five and then four and a half sorry four out of five in terms of performance and then four uh four and a half out of five in terms of value uh because like I said 40,000 coins and a really, really good league. But uh, that is going to do it for the Gary Metal, the long shot king. I, I don't know. Un uh, to be determined. I might try to use him in this weekend league, but that is to be determined. Uh, scored us some goals. Scored us, I think, four goals in the epi. So uh, not too bad in terms of uh, getting goals in the back of the net, but just not didn't score them how we expected them to. But that is going to do it, like I said, for one of the more anticipated videos you guys wanted to see it, the Gary Metal Ultimate Scream episode. If you guys did enjoy, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Lauturo Martinez and absolute beast insigne very good and giovinco just doing what giovinco does the atomic ant uh but like i said boys that is going to do it for the epi i'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time boys choose later a day